I'm your host, Andre Salazar. Today on The Art of Comics, we're going to talk about one of my favorite comic book creators, Brian Michael Bendis' alias. We're doing this right now, brother. Okay, let's do this. We're doing alias. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my, Brian Michael Bendis, my history with this creator. Um, I started reading Bendis' stuff back... Uh, Jinxed and Torso and some of the old stuff, the Jinx World stuff that he was doing before he worked for Spawn that then he got the job at um, at Marvel doing Ultimate Spider-Man all that stuff. So I was a big fan of his crime stuff. I loved Jinxed. I loved uh, Goldfish, that kind of stuff. Those big, big books that kind of put him on the map. And we should actually do those. I have those. We need to do those. We should do those probably before this, but you know what? We're doing this now. Um, I love Powers. So I, I'm a big fan of all his stuff in like the the early 2000s. I haven't been keep, keeping up with him, so I don't know about all the other stuff he's been doing in Super Hurt World. But his crime stuff, his dialogue heavy stuff that he did in the beginning, loved it. And this book was the big book that he was attached to for Marvel when they launched the Max line. The Max line was kind of like the black label now that uh, the DC is doing. It's their more mature line of comics. So you can say the F word basically, you know, that's the deal with that. Um, so more mature stuff. He then decides to hey, say, hey, I got this character Jinx. I got these kind of crime PI type stories. I'm gonna put it here. Now the character in this is Jessica Jones. So if you've seen the Netflix show, Jessica Jones, that's this, that's Alias. It should have been called Alias, but you know, there's J.J. Abrams Alias that's already made, so they're not gonna do that. Um, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, that this was originally gonna be Jessica Drew. Jessica Drew being Spider Woman. And I think the issue was Marvel didn't want them to do Spider-Woman because he's going to kind of do some gnarly things to this character. And so you can't use Jessica Drew. So you're going to make a new character called Jessica Jones and kind of made up superhero. But it was going to be Spider-Woman Jessica Drew, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what I re remember. So when I read this, I think that this was really going to be Spider-Woman, right? Who used to be a superhero, but is now kind of her own world. So he makes up this character, Jessica Jones, um, and she's a PI, and she's gonna do her thing. The artist, Michael Gatos, I am not familiar with him from before this. So this could be his kind of watershed moment. He, I'm sure he's done some stuff before this. It does have kind of a little scratchy style, kind of common or popular now with people like Michael Lark and Steve Epstein, people like that. So he's got that kind of Michael Lark look, uh, maybe a little bit more unrefined than that. But he's got great panel compositions. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about the book. It's really good, highly recommend it. Let's dive down into Alias right now. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, people, let's do this. Alias, great book. I'm gonna spoil a few things, so try to deal with me or just, just suck it up. Uh, <laughs> okay. Alias, like I said, this is, um, you know, a crime story set in superhero world, right? So this is actually way back when, back before that was a super popular thing. This was 2002. So he had put out Powers, which was great. And, uh, but he was kind of the crime guy. He was kind of the modern crime guy. This was, you know, he's before Brubaker and some of those dudes. Brian Michael Bendis was the guy. He was the writer. He got everything. And there's a reason for it. A lot of it is his writing style at the time, especially, was very dialogue heavy. It was very naturalistic, you know, kind of a mammoth type style of writing. And um, that's high compliment. And so that's where we get a lot of this, right? We're going to get a lot of this. This is actually a great turn where you think he's worried about his wife is cheating. It's not that his wife was cheating was the issue. It's that his wife 
you know, has a thing for superheroes, right? And his wife was a superhero, and that was the big deal. And so the great little turn, great little, like, moments here that he does. Um, I love any time an artist can use the same panel and just change it out a little bit. I just feel that's just a really cool economic way of storytelling. So I'm all about that, just on a lot of levels. Um, you're going to see a lot of just great compositions and I kind of was reading this this week and I'm learning a lot myself just how to do storytelling with this kind of thing I love these chop these chop like cuts you know it's just like quick cuts quick cuts and then suddenly now there's a threat and now there's some action and now we're going big right and it actually is different because it's ending here which is not normally the way you would do it you would end it on this side but it ends here which I find that kind of kind of interesting way to to look at it um gatos does a lot of interesting compositionally uh artwork you know it is a little scratchy some people might not dig the uh the look to it but i think it's great and um especially during this i don't know i just i think now it might be even more popular than it would have been then you know i think it's now a little bit more accepted um again look at this he's using a you know, he's using like a nine panel within this frame, and then he breaks that nine panel grid out into this whole thing. So there's just a lot of really kind of cool panel composition stuff. And then he's doing stuff like this, where he's just got all this freaking white space. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight panels all going to the top. But then he doesn't go, the, he does, doesn't move them all the way across. He just has that open. There's these decisions that just from a design perspective is really interesting and really neat. Um, this is kind of infamous. Uh, this is an infamous kind of scene at the time. And I remember there's been a lot of like internet hubbub about Luke Cage and her hooking up and what that was about. This is a classic like choice that you'll see. if Whenever you see dialogue, this tit for tat kind of dialogue balloons, that's Bendis. That's his kind of signature that he would always do this really kind of quippy um again very natural kind of way of talking and um and instead of having panels for each of those the artist just has these kind of panels and then we just kind of figure it out right we just kind of figure out how the panels are working with that and i just think that's really cool again a lot of great repetition and this is just a big zoom out right and I think it's actually literally is just him photocopying the image and just blowing it up slightly. So this is great. Uh, and, and if you look closely, the only thing that's changing is the smoke. The smoke trail changes. Uses a lot of that kind of stuff. Great use of the blinds, shadows. I always like that. I think it just reminds me of like Sin City stuff. So the story is, um, you know, this actually is, is one through nine. So it has a couple couple stories in here. Uh, there's a bit about kind of a political thriller, but it's a good political thriller. These are like good, good stories. Political thriller with, uh, you know, Captain America's identity being revealed, stuff like that. Um, and then there's a, another one about a kind of a guy with schizophrenia thinking he's a superhero. Really good stuff. I also like these types of panels, pages where you have basically one image that's chopped up and then you can then put your dialogue on top of it, on top of each one, as though it's a separate uh, panel or moment in time. I like that a lot too. Uh, again, he's using these big, he's, he's, he's leaving these big spaces in the page. And uh, I don't know, like this is another one. Like, why would you do that? You're thinking like, you could put more panels here, but he doesn't do that. He really lets that breathe. I think I'm gonna really use that. <laughs> I'm gonna really use this for my book. Uh, I just think there's some interesting things to do. Does it again here. I mean, I don't think there's a page anywhere that he's using the whole stinking thing. He just doesn't. Here we go. Okay, here's one he does. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he does a six kind of classic look. But these are white. I'm curious if when he does white and when he does black. Is it just for night? I usually, That's what I usually do, but not necessarily, no. He does it differently, yeah. Doesn't It's not necessarily rhyme or reason. These are great. This scene is really, really good. This interrogation scene, I don't know how many panels, but there's a crud ton. And they're going back and forth 
But what's great about this scene really is the facials of the investigator, detective guy. He, the way his face turns on certain little phrases and stuff he's saying is really, really good. It's really good. It's very subtle, but it's perfect. Um, reminds me a little bit of Powers. Not but just just as far as like what's going on, I think, in it. Um, I like this, too. I was I was reading something. Oh, that's really cool, that, that refraction or reflection of the, the skyscraper. Yeah, look at this. Look at this panel, this page. You've got these guys here, and then you've got this space. It's like, boom, 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 boom. Well, why not do that, do that, do that, that, you know? It's just really kind of, I don't know, I dig it, man. I digs it. Okay, great book. I'm not going to bore you to death with it, but it is wonderful. Um, it's a fun story, and I don't think it's that decompressed. He used to get a lot of guff for that kind of thing. I don't really think this is that. I think it's just the right size. It's just the right number of, you know, pages and panels and all that kind of stuff. You get your story and it was good. I think this was this would be considered one of his best stuff right up there with, you know, Ultimate Spider-Man and all that kind of stuff. It's really good. Um, check it out. That's all we've got for the day. That's all I'm going to do for you. Read this book. It's called Alias. You can find it. Brian Michael Bendez. Um... I don't know about his new stuff, but I'll tell you what, his old stuff sings. It's good stuff. Thank you very much for checking it out. Check out my Patreon. Let me know what you think of, of my own books that I'm working on. And um, have a great night. Bye.